Congratulations on another success you. week. Um, AJ, I want to start with you. You said you're a big Disney fan, and you talked about, well, we saw you sitting at the table with your ears on, playing with your daughters. Did you tell your daughters who you were going to be tonight on the dance floor? I did, and then uh, when I sent them a picture of me in my full costume, my youngest daughter was like, I thought you were Aladdin. You look like the genie. It's because of my bald head. I'm like, well, you know. That would have been it would have been interesting if, if, if we had taken it that direction. Blue. Very blue. Just fully blue, which means I'd still be blue for you right now. Yeah. And sweating blue. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no, no. It was great. It was great the way you guys executed. Yeah. You know, last week when I talked to you guys, we talked about the podcast uh, that you guys have started. And I, I found it interesting that – you know, you've opened up about being two years sober. And then AJ, yes. you also opened up about, you know, your wife helping you through troubled times. What made both of you decide to do that right now? Either one of you can start off with that answer. It was kind of like, okay, well, my father had passed away during that time. Um, and it was never like a, it was almost like a promise to myself. I was also getting engaged. Um, I was engaged, sorry. And I was about to get married. And I just felt like, I didn't feel right. Well, either it was either for me, it was my dad was an al former alcoholic. So it was either I was going to crash and burn or I was going to just stop right away, cold turkey. And um, I, it became like an everyday thing, me drinking. So it was like I needed to just show myself, I guess, that this was not something that I depended on, especially, you know, after my dad's passing. So it wasn't like um, it wasn't a hard thing for me to do is just that my also my body just wasn't reacting well to it at all. It was a weird, probably more like a subconscious thing than anything else. Agreed. I mean, for me, you know, my wife's all, I mean, she's, she's put up with me in like the worst, the worst state I've ever been in. And now hopefully in my mind and also her mind, the best state I've ever been in these past almost 10 months. Um, She's actually going to be on our podcast this evening. Uh, special guest. Special guest sharing wow. her perspective. Of, I've never I'm just met her. Yeah. I've also never met her. So nope. Oh, my gosh. I'm, I'm literally going to sit back thing. and shut up. And because, I'm going to be Barbara Walters. Yeah, interviewing because the crap out of her. It's, you know, it's, it's always interesting to hear your significant other's perspective because they're the one living it with you. Yeah. And they're seeing you basically tear yourself apart daily. So... Is that you what know. you do when you go home? Tear myself apart? Mm -hmm. No. I go home and watch TV and play with my kids. Oh, good to know that you don't go through your notes. Oh, I do that. <laughs> Thank oh, you, yeah. though, for opening up and sharing that because I know that just helps so many people when you share those stories and it's relatable and they can just, you know, really connect with you in that way. Um, can't wait to see or listen to the podcast episode. Thank and you. congratulations again this week. Bruno, you. you're improving and refining. That's what he said. I wrote that, that down in my notes. So can't wait to see what you guys I love a girl that takes notes. Yes. <laughs> Thank <Always>. you. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.